Hi Glasgow, this is Bailey Jeff, a podcast editor for the Panther Post. This is our first episode of the Panther Podcast, and we are so grateful to have you here. I have Nahom Daniel here with me today, and we are going to be having a couple of different series going on right now, so let us know if you want to participate with the form on the Panther Post. Hi, I'm Nahom Daniel. I'm, I'm also one of the podcast editors. Feel free to reach out to one of us if you if you have any suggestions for us. My email is 1573563 at, FCP, at fcpsschools.net and Bailey's is 1659879 at fcpsschools.net. Today, our what would you do question is what if you're stranded on a deserted island? Feel free to play along at home. So let's get into it. The first question is what's the first thing you'd do? Me personally, I think I'd make an, like an SOS sign with the sand because I want people to know that I'm stranded because like they could, there could be a helicopter or a boat just like randomly flying or swimming around and they wouldn't really like notice me on the island because I could be small compared to like the island. And like, I want them to actually like know I'm there and try and rescue me. Oh, I really like that. That's a good idea. I think I would find materials to build a shelter and find a method to filter ocean water because ocean water is one of the most unsanitary things and I do not want to be dying from some bacteria in the ocean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd try my best to filter the water. Yeah. Our second question is, how would you get the resources you need to survive, such as food, water, and shelter? Um, So me, I get it from leaves, bugs, um, I guess the ocean water, and maybe if I if I become like extreme, I, like I become insane, I try and hunt for fish, because I feel like all you need to hunt fish is a spear, and I guess a good aim. And I don't really have yeah. either of those. I mean, I might be able to have a spear, but you know, it would just be hard to like aim for the fish. Yeah, I would eat the fruits and vegetables that I could find and build some sort of covering with driftwood and then do some boiling water to get from the sun, hoping that the sun is super hot. But I would definitely have some problems on this island because I'm a vegetarian, so your fishing trick would not really work You're vegetarian? So I'm hoping this is a tropical... You're Sorry? vegetarian? That's yeah. That would be really hard on a deserted island. It's like, I feel like you're surrounded by ocean and all you have is like are fishes. Yeah. Would you be able to eat yeah. coral? I don't know if that's edible. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. So our next question is how- I'll look into that. Home? Sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> All right, so our next question is how'd you get home or get home? For me, I just hope that somebody finds me with the SOS sign that I built, that I make from the beginning. And if not, if nobody finds me, then I'll get, I guess like, I'll try and build a boat if I run out of resources. Okay. I think I would build a raft out of driftwood, tie it together with some sturdy leaves mm-hmm. so that I could hopefully drift somewhere across the sea to the right direction towards land. Yeah, because like, I feel like that's a really risky move. Because, like, you could, you could, like, if you're on a boat, like, you don't, it'll be really hard to paddle. So, like, you either, because, like, you don't, you yeah. have no idea where you are. So, you either, like, go somewhere that you want to go to. It's like you're like you might go to like somewhere that's like a hot that has people, or you might just go further into the ocean to another deserted island. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. <laughs> okay, our fourth question: If you knew you're going to be stranded, what five things would you prepare beforehand to bring? Um, so first, um, I'd bring food because I want to. I'd I want to. I don't want to really eat bugs. And leaves for the for the whole time when I'm there. Um, a way to call people because I don't really know. I don't really have like because like I don't really know what I'd do there. And with with a way to call people, there it'd be um I'd be able to like it'd be easier for me to get home. And with the SOS mm-hmm. sign again, they'd help. They'd find me easier. Um, a boat. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. Um, but a boat because I if I if there were like um what's it called oh like if there's a tree I don't want to waste that tree to build a boat because like I said earlier like the boat could be use, making a boat could be a risky move and like if I were to if I were to already have a boat I would I wouldn't have to waste those resources 
Um, so the fourth thing is filtered water because I'm not completely sure how to filter water, and it'd be a lot easier to then it'd be a lot easier and safer to to drink that water instead of ocean water. And finally, someone to talk to because I don't really want to get bored when I'm on that island. <laughs> That's those are all really good ideas. Uh, going along with your water filtration, I would have some sort of water filtration system. Mm -hmm. Whether that be like a machine or a piece of cloth, I don't know. I'm I'm just being creative here. Yeah. Um, some food storage because I want to save the food for as long as possible. Mm -hmm. um, a book on edible and safe plants to eat. Well, that's you know what? That's actually really smart. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a knife and some blankets. For me, I'd use like for a knife. I guess I guess I'd try and use like um the wood. Like I use wood for a knife because. And then I'd use like leaves as a blanket because it's like that's like the best. I guess like that's the only like way to use those things if you don't already have them. Mhm. Mm I would. Um. I think that's actually a good idea. Yeah. Th thanks. Okay. I like. I like your. I like your idea here. Yes. All right. So question number five is where would your island be located? For me, I don't have like a specific place, but I want it to be near. I want it to be near where like where other islands are. So like you you'd be able to walk or swim to like another island, and like there'd just be like a lot of islands near. It. Because I have a lot more resources than I did on just that one island. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think that's definitely gonna help your situation. <laughs> I would. I said. I think. Sometimes somewhere in the Caribbean because I think the water's beautiful, so that'd be some nice scenery there. <laughs> but also the warmth of the sun because I'm pretty sure it's quite near and quite close to the equator. I think the warmth in the sun would help my water boiling trick. <laughs> so maybe I'd survive a little bit longer. Yeah, I I see how that like how that'd be a good place. Mm-hmm. All right, question six. How long do you think until you go insane? Um, for me, I guess I'd say a month. Because like, maybe longer. Because since I have that friend from the previous from a previous question, um, like I'd have them to I'd be able to talk to them. So I I wouldn't be that bored. But like, <laughs> me being bored, I guess would lead to me going insane, and me ha like. Like my insanity, I guess, and like mm -hmm. with that friend, I'd like keep, keep being sane for maybe an extra few weeks. But if I didn't have them, then definitely a month. Like a month, and I'm just like screwed. <laughs> yeah, I think I would take maybe three months because I don't know. I feel like isolation would definitely have some some negative effect on me because I mean it took me three months to go insane during quarantine <laughs> so I thought maybe that's something I could base my idea off of there mm -hmm. yeah because quarantine like made me a lot I guess stronger when when talking about going insane like with these past like, I guess like maybe seven months and I don't even know if it's been that long yeah but, like I've just been like it's been really hard but like it's kept me strong I guess yeah. Okay. Um, Question number. We are done with our time limit. So thank you guys so much for joining us for our first episode. And we will hope to see you soon. Yeah. All right. So make sure that if you want to be on our next episode of the What If Ser What Would You Do series, make sure to use. Sorry. Make sure to do the Google form that we made. And thank you for watching the first episode of our series. All right. Bye. Bye.